In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Wacom graphics tablet so that you've enabled Windows Ink just for Adobe Photoshop, but you've left Windows Ink disabled for everything else. Let's start by talking about the two pen APIs that Windows offers so that it can talk to graphics tablets. The two APIs are called WinTab and Windows Ink. WinTab is a very old, ancient pen API. Windows Ink is also old, but newer than WinTab. The summary here is that Microsoft wants graphics tablets and penware applications to use Windows Ink. There are many great things about Windows Ink, but I'm not going to go into them in this video. Now, one option we have, which we've had for quite a while now, is to disable Windows Ink in the Wacom tablet properties. We just go to Mapping and uncheck Use Windows Ink. But this solution, which in the past just worked and we were happy, more recently has become somewhat difficult for us to deal with. Modern versions of Photoshop, for example, really want you to use Windows Ink. And if you disable Windows Ink, then Photoshop will lose certain features, like a critical one called pressure sensitivity. And so we are left with a little bit of a dilemma. We want to disable Windows Ink for our computer, because we prefer the experience with it disabled. But modern versions of Photoshop want to use Windows Ink, and it has problems if you disable it. What are our options? The first option available to you is using something called the psuserconfig.txt. This involves disabling Windows Ink globally, just as we did before. However, you create this psuserconfig.txt file, you put these commands in it, and then you save it in a very specific folder where you installed Photoshop. And then the next time you start Photoshop, it will disregard Windows Ink and just use the old WinTab API. And there is a second option. This involves using the per application settings. The first step of using this option is the same. Disable Windows Ink globally. But the second step does not involve creating that PS user config.txt file. Instead, you stay in the Wacom Tablet Properties experience, and then you enable Windows Ink just for the Photoshop application. Some key points about Option 2. It has some benefits. First, we avoid the Windows Ink interaction issues just in general. Second, we give Photoshop what it wants, which is the new Microsoft API that Penaware applications should use. And finally, it is simpler to use this method than psuserconfig.txt. Another reason to consider this option is that some people, when they use psuserconfig.txt, they encounter problems when Photoshop is using the older WinTab APIs. And now, we'll do a little demonstration of this technique. We start by taking a look at the Wacom Tablet Properties application. As you can see, for device, I have my Intuos Pro Medium selected. For tool, currently it's set for functions. I will change this to the Pro Pen 2. And for application, it is all. Now let's switch to the Mapping tab, and you can see that Windows Ink is disabled. To further demonstrate that Windows Ink is disabled, I'm going to paint a little bit with Photoshop. And as you can see, I am pressing down hard and soft, and no matter what I do, the brush width just doesn't change. Now, let's configure our Wacom tablet properties the way we want. Already, for all applications for the Pro Pen 2, Windows Ink is disabled. So we're halfway there. Now we must enable Windows Ink specifically for Photoshop. We'll do that by going to Application, and on the far right of this window, you can see a little plus icon. I'll click it. I'll then be asked to select an application or browse for one. In this case, I'll just select from the list. I already have Photoshop launched, so there it is in the list. I click it and then press OK. Before I do, please note that the Photoshop application path is what it's picking. I'll pick OK. And then now, as you can see, for the application called Photoshop, Use Windows Ink is enabled. But for all other applications, Use Windows Ink is disabled. Now, I brought up Photoshop 2022 again, and let me try painting again. 
as I start drawing, you can easily see that the lighter I press, the smaller the stroke, and the heavier I press, the wider the stroke. So again, this is all because Windows Ink is enabled for Photoshop specifically, but disabled for all other applications. Now that you've seen the demo, here are a few notes on the technique. If you install a new version of Photoshop, you may have to redo these steps. The reason is that when you ask the Wacom tablet properties to have specific settings for Photoshop, it's keyed to where Photoshop is installed. So if there's a new version of Photoshop in a different location, you may have to redo these steps for that location. And by the way, the psuserconfig.txt option also is sensitive to the Photoshop path. So both of these methods have this issue. I showed you this technique for a Wacom device. However, other graphics tablet manufacturers also support per application settings. I've tried the same technique out with other manufacturers' tablets, such as Huion and Sense Labs, and it all works in a very similar way to what I've shown for Wacom. Thank you for your patience. I hope you found this video useful.